Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Home to Inspire DIY and Decor. Thank you for joining me today on this Dollar Tree and Dollar General haul. Hope you enjoy the show. The first item I wanted to share was this really cute sign that Dollar Tree just came out with. It says pumpkin spice and everything nice. Super cute. They did have a lot of other um, options, but this is the one that I liked. I love pumpkins and pumpkin spice everything, so I figured I would get this sign. I think it's super cute. I also found this home sign. It has four pumpkins on it. That's really cute. Um, this is the first time I think Dollar Tree has carried this type of sign where the pumpkins are stacked like this and even has like the cutout grooves to uh, mimic the look of planks so if you wanted to redo this project you could totally repaint this sand it down sand off all the glitter and then um, paint it white or whatever color you want and then just sort of <clears throat> cut through the the grooves or indentations um, that way it will bring out the look of that the plank wood look and then just paint this individually or um, the same color if you wanted um, just one color and then you can create your own wording on here if you wanted to. So I think that is super cute and it has limitless options and potential. Then I came across some of the new calendars for 2023. These are super adorable. I grabbed the three that are the most farmhouse-ish. So this one is a home sweet home. And on the back, it shows you the different images for each of the months. And it has all the cute little barn animals and the little um, like barn wood look signs for the fall, the joy, give thanks. And then you have your plank wood here. <clears throat> it's just a bunch of little cute pictures. And then this one's a farmer's market one with the three topiaries. And again, the back shows all the images of the different herbs and fruits. Super cute. And then this one, happy harvest. That would be really cute on a Thanksgiving or a fall project. And the third calendar I chose was this home sign. It looks like um, barn wood. And then you have the farmer's market sign with uh, some baking, uh, more of the kitcheny type signs, and just word signs right here. So again, super adorable. And next up, I also found these new signs. Uh, this is Grateful Hearts Gather here, and it looks like there's wood behind it but it's just a flat image of what's supposed to look like wood and galvanized metal but that's definitely new um they did not have this last year and then the the frame itself is really nice it's a good diy potential it's like it's wood i'm not sure if it's actually real wood but it seems like wood um you can definitely remove the the picture in here and repaint this or keep it as is and put your own picture inside or a sign inside and then they had this version it says thankful grateful blessed with a buffalo check and this little plaque in the middle which i think is super cute i think i would keep this one as is if i wanted to embellish it i could definitely add some ribbons or twine maybe to the sides or something even add like those laser leaf cutouts that Dollar Tree carries. Maybe put them on the corners or something like that. And then I found these. These are definitely new. I have not ever seen these before. And they're cute because they're round. So it's not often that Dollar Tree carries like round signs. It's usually like square, rectangle, um, something along those lines. But round is rare as far as signage goes so this is super cute it has like the galvanized metal word that says home and it's actually screwed in to this decor 
and then it says uh, home is where our story begins. Again, um, you can redo this, remove that word because it's screwed on. So you can always use that for a different project if you wanted and repaint this and use it for something completely different. Oops, it's freestanding. And this one says live, love, laugh. This is really cute too, very neutral farmhouse decor. And, and again, you can just DIY this if you wanted to or keep it as is because I think they both are really super cute just the way they are. And then I was really stoked to have found these faux book stacks. These are the three that I came across. I think there was another option I didn't care for. So I did choose just these three designs. This first one is Thankful, Great, Grateful, Blessed with some pumpkins. It's a light tan color. Second one is Welcome Autumn. This is cute too. The colors are really cute. Um, if you wanted to change out just this top one, didn't want the apples on it, you could just repaint the top stack and then um, do your own thing. And the last one is this, Pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice. So for all the coffee or hot cocoa lovers out there, any type of hot drinks, this is super adorable. Oh, I did find this one. I, I left this one out. This is actually the fourth version of the book stack. This one's probably my favorite. The color is really nice, the leaves and the saying, leaves are falling, autumn is calling, and fall is my favorite season. So that definitely is my favorite of the of the four. Then I came across this really cute two pack of hanging signs and they are super cute. This one is like the shape of a pumpkin pie, just a slice of a pie. It says give thanks on it. And this one is a whole pie. It says gather on it. So I was really happy that I found these. These are so cute. And they're made out of like a nice um, thick chipboard material. So thought that was neat. And then I came across this fall is my favorite color leaf. It's a metal decor. It was in the garden section, but the tag looks just like this. It has a little raffia bow, which is kind of messed up. So I definitely removed that and put my own spin on this. So I just love the color green. So this cute little buffalo plaid or buffalo check in this green color is right up my alley. And then the color is really muted and neutral. Um, and again, fall is my favorite, favorite color. That's definitely true. So that's what that looks like. This is a really pretty silver dollar plant or floral or leaves or whatever you want to call them but I was super happy when I came across these because the color is just everything like it's super neutral if you're going more for a muted neutral <clears throat> autumn decor this is definitely the color for you because look at those colors it's you know it has just the right amount of like distressed look to it almost like a coffee or a tea stained look, but it's like this really light beige brown color. And I mean, the quality is really good. So this is what you get on one sprig. So I picked up four just for a fuller look if I wanted to display this all in one vase. So I thought that was super pretty. And next I came across these really cute don't know if these are daisies, but look at the color on that. Dollar Tree has never carried this type of flower and, and this color. Usually they tend to carry like more of the brighter orange, yellow, typical fall type of colors, but they've been doing a really good job with putting out more neutral tones, um, more on the browns and maybe the dark purple and that sort of color scheme. Uh, when it comes to their florals so i definitely had to pick these up because they can go um, add as a filler to a 
wreath or a floral display or anything. So I really love those. I also came across this really pretty flower. I thought I had another one. Oh, here you go. These are another version of a really cute fall daisy. It's just called wildflowers, but even the, the tag is different. It looks more high-end or something. <laughs> but this is really cute. Um, it coordinates really good with these flowers. So if you wanted to like, you know, mix them up or something, it just adds the right amount of contrast to the brown flowers. But this gives you just enough of the um, yellow orange rust tones without going overboard and being too too loud. So I think that's such a pretty combination. Then I also came across these really cute mini mum bouquets and they look like this. There's not a whole lot to one sprig but I think they're still really nice and look at, look at the flowers. This is a mini mums. It comes with this sort of wine or burgundy looking flowers and then just a bit of this. So again, um, it lends well to the whole neutral look of fall. And then I also came across these silver dollars. So these are like the, your typical color, the green color. I only found two, so that's all I got. But these are like the eucalyptus, but they call it silver dollar. So it looks like that and it's not bad like that's the quality seems pretty good so i grabbed two of those i also found some cotton stems and i think this time around they actually made these a lot better than in the previous years just the part at the bottom like that holds the cotton in place it's more realistic it's more like a dried seed or something as opposed to the ones that they have with the fake plastic looking ones um, these are so much better so much better quality look at the cotton balls are super full they come uh, four cotton pods in each stem so I grabbed a couple of those just for fillers just in case I needed something and next I found some raffia I found this like rusty orange color as well as this burgundy color. I think they had like a some kind of green, but it was too bright for my liking. And I stuck with these just to use for any fall projects. So this isn't really fall related, but I thought I'd share it anyway, because this is part of the haul. Um, these houses, their picture frames, this one, as you see, is coming. I think the glue um, came off or something and it's falling apart, but it's fine because I would just deconstruct this anyway and um, just probably do something completely different. But if you wanted to keep this the way it was, it, it has a hanging, like a sawtooth hanger. It's cute the way it is. And then these frames are also nice. I mean, they're, they're framed out with pieces of wood and this is actually a frame in here. It's, it holds a six by four picture with a plastic picture um, protector. And then you can definitely paint this if you wanted to or uh, decoupage it with a different design, scrapbook paper, fabric, uh, tissue paper, or just paint. Uh, you can even stencil on here. Um, it's a hanging picture frame. It has these little, I'm not sure what these are called, but they have this that holds the picture in place. So again, I thought that was really cute. It just has this jute twine already attached to it. And then they have this version, Follow Your Heart. So I thought that was really nice. And then enjoy the little things. So, in actuality, these are really cute the way they are. But being that I am a DIYer or crafter, um, 
I do like to sort of take things up a notch. Um, maybe just give it a little facelift, improvement, what have you, just to make it a little bit better. But you can keep it the way they are. They look cute. And then these little box frames are adorable as well. Um, obviously, the little galvanized metal words are coming off which um, I don't mind at all because I would probably remove it anyway and just keep it for a different project. But I like the that it's a shadow box frame and you can definitely do um, a lot of things with it. And the background of this looks like wood, but it's just colored in black. So if you were to paint over this like in white or any light color, it would totally bring out that wood grain and that would be really cute. So again, um, you can DIY this. And then I came across these cute little house frames and I think they are super sweet. Um, never saw them before up until now. They have the little stand, the little easel. They hold a tiny little three by two picture, but again, um, you don't have to use it as a frame. You can connect these if you wanted to, maybe glue them together maybe use uh, them as a standalone inside of um, a project. You can put your own image in here. It doesn't have to be a photo of a person that you know, or, you know, a family. It could just be like a print, um, some a printable, um, a decal, like a rub-on transfer, something that you put onto like maybe scrapbook paper or um, a vinyl decal that you cut out on your machine or even use Dollar Tree stickers or any type of sticker with a word or a saying that you want because Dollar Tree did come out with a lot of cute farmhouse type stickers, three-dimensional, that are really cute. They would look super adorable in these signs. And then you could repaint it, add some flowers, maybe uh, tie some twine around it. So yeah, those are super adorable. And speaking of stickers, this is just one version of the sticker that's uh, on the farmhouse sign or farmhouse um, side. So you have family. I love our family forever. Clock. There's this. I'm not sure. Is that a house? There's love. And then there's a home. So you can definitely use these for any of those frames that I showed you. And then I also came across this LED unfinished um, wood house that says Home Sweet Home. Um, you can totally paint this up, add this to a project, use it on its own, on a tiered tray, on a stack of books. So much that you can do with this little wood sign and it lights up. So that's a bonus. And then I found these cute houses. They all have a beach theme or... A coastal theme to them. I grabbed these two designs. It doesn't really matter what it says. I'm not into the coastal um, decor style. Um, I just got them so that I can DIY them. I grabbed two of these magnetic tins that came from the office supply section. And the idea I had for this was to create like a some type of shadow box or snow globe ornament for Christmas. So we'll see what I come up with and that might be in a future Christmas or holiday DIY video. So stay tuned for that. I also found some pom-poms, 18 piece by Crafter Square. It comes in this big size. So again, not really sure what I'm gonna use this for, but I figured with Christmas coming up, this might come in handy for something, um, a future project. So just things like this is good to have. Then I found a cute towel. This is the only towel and so I grabbed it. This is more fall. This has more of a fall feel to it. It has like the green leaves. It could be everyday decor too, but it would um, be good for fall as well. It says grateful, thankful, blessed. Um, they say it on both sides. It's just one of those thin towels, the tea towel good for just decorating with not necessarily using they're actually called flower sack towels so it's by the home collection and then i found two new fabrics fat quarters 
um, this white with some black striped, but it's not really a stripe. It's this type of pattern. And then I found this other fat quarter cotton flannel. It has more of this look to it. And I figured these would come in handy for any fall Christmas projects. Um, they're neutral, even everyday projects, everyday home decor. So a super farmhouse feel to me. And then I also came across these cute little drawer pulls or glass knobs. This one has a crackle finish to it. I did just grab one of these. It's really pretty. And then I grabbed three of these. These look like the, um, can't think of the word right now, but it's like that vintage, vintage type of look. Oh, these two are the same and this one is different. It doesn't have like the center metal right there. That. Next, I found these interesting looking shaped ceramic. And they look like artichoke balls, but now that I look at it more, now that I have it home, it reminds me of like fish scales or something like mermaid since Dollar Tree does carry a lot of mermaid themed decor. I'm wondering if this is supposed to be like one of those mermaid scale type things. But to me, when I first saw it, it reminded me of like artichoke because a lot of home decor does have like the artichoke. But either way, I guess I can make it my own. I could just paint this to look like artichoke. But at the end of the day, it is really cute. And it's just good for tabletop accent or to put on um, your shelf or something. Next, I found these cute milk jugs or vases, whatever you want to call them. These are the two colors that they had, black and white. They already have this design embossed in them. So if you were to repaint this and just distress it, um, that would distress really well. It has like the raised, uh, ra the raised look to them. And you can definitely um, make like a decal if you wanted to, like a farmhouse decal if you wanted to, just cause it has like these two handles that makes it look like a milk jug, but it can also just be a base. So you can use it for tear trays, table, um, add some flowers to it, dried florals. So I thought that was cute. And then I came across these cute pumpkins. They've had this in years past. And I figured I'd just pick a pack up because these are good if you wanted to make a banner out of it. You could repaint the inside if you're not into this buffalo check pattern. Um, and just paint it a different color or add your own scrapbook paper to it. If you're into just the black and white but don't want the orange, you could just uh, paint over the orange one. Um, again, it would make a cute sign or a banner. Um, you can add a fall word or your family's last name, anything like that. On these cute white mini pumpkins, they're, they say faux wool pumpkin and they're made out of fabric. It says wool on it. It looks like felt, but I guess it could look like wool too. They come five in a pack and they're by Craft the Square. They did have different colors. They had like a bright green color. Um, I think like some burlap fabric, but I chose the white ones. I thought they were cute. I like white and like the beigey colors like for fall. Um, if you're going with the whole neutral look. Then I came across some of these faux leather leaves. 
I believe they have a different type of leaf. This is more of the maple, I think. And, and I think they have a different type of leaf. But this Dollar Tree that I went to and found these only had this style. So I grabbed two of them. Again, um, they would make good garlands or table scatter if you wanted to. You could even use this as a place, a place card holder for your um, Thanksgiving dinner. Maybe put them on top of the plate with the person's name that's supposed to sit at that, um, at that desk or that table. Um, so yeah, these are really cute. This is the first that Dollar Tree has carried any of these leather type materials or faux leather decorations, which I think is like really neat that they're carrying this stuff. So I only found this um, light brown color. I'm not sure if they have them in another color or not, because this is all I saw in this Dollar Tree. And then I found some leather words. So these other words came in this dark brown color as well as this more of a taupe color, light brown. I don't really know what color you want to call this, but there's four words to a pack and they say faux leather words. This one says blessed. I think they both say the same thing. So one says blessed, one says thankful. There's probably two of each word. This one says blessed and the other one says grateful. So there's two in here, two in here. And then I found more stickers. And these ones are really cute. They're all by Crafter Square. They have like that, the raised look to them. Like they're embossed or something. You can feel the, the words. This one has a bunch of writing. So this, like some say, so very thankful. Hello, fall. Autumn. I'm not sure that says autumn something. This is fall is in the air. And always be grateful. Some of the words are hard to read, but that's how it looks close up. Still really cute, just for an accent. And then this one is super cute with all the different candle and food type stuff there's a pie some pumpkins and gourds that could be pumpkin spice this is a candle maybe cinnamon rolls and then some random leaf pieces and then the last of the stickers are these cute little pumpkins believe in the magic of harvest Carve out some good times and happy harvest. That's what these words say. And then these pumpkins are just in different um, design variations. So again, those are like super cute. Then I found these travel jars. Not fall related by any means, but I grabbed them with the um, possibility of making maybe making them into a um, like a mini snow globe for a tree decoration. So again, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do or how I'm going to do it, but I could always paint the caps, drill a hole, add a jute string to tie it like in the middle, um, add some faux snow in here, maybe like a figurine. You could even add like a picture of your kids or family members inside, um, stand it up somehow, maybe just like cut it out and then like stand it up sort of like um what is that can't think of the word but there's a way to describe where you you do that type of stuff where you cut out like pictures um without any of the borders and then like just sort of use it inside things like this it's like those altered art type stuff so that would be good for that. And then I also found some beauty products. I found some masks. We have a hyaluronic bubble mask. Fresh food for skin facial sheet mask for pore care. These are by Farm Skin Inc. And it's a, I guess it's like a Korean made product 
And this is the Natural Vegan Mask Cacao Nibs. And this is by She's Lab. A warming eye mask, lavender scented. This is by Four Star Group. So I think that's pretty cool. And then I have an under eye mask and a lip mask. So I've not tried those before, but we'll see how that works out. I also found me some self-adhesive wall tiles. These are the, um, the ones that look like ceiling tiles or like the tin ceiling tiles back in the uh, more of the old antique homes. So I grabbed four of them. Three of these are in this silver color. And then I found one that was more in this, this color is like a white background with brown leaves. But that was really pretty too. So I wouldn't be using this for a wall. Um, nothing sticks on my wall because they're textured and I've tried um, sticking these up before. Not, not this one in particular, but other Dollar Tree wall tiles and they don't stay on my walls. So these are just made, um, purchase exclusively for DIYing with. Um, so yeah, we'll see what I do with these and they might be in a future video as well. Found some cotton twine from Toolbench. And this was in the tool section. Comes with this much twine. So that's a good deal for $1.25 and I do use this a lot. And then I also came across a sanding block with sandpaper. It has 10 sheets of sandpaper. You can see it right there. I thought this was really nifty just because um, whenever I use a lot of the sanding sponges that come from Dollar Tree, but if you ever have like scrap pieces of um, sandpaper like this, you know, if you've ever tried using sandpaper just on its own, it might not be the most convenient or easy, you know, when you're trying to hold on to that piece of sandpaper and like sanding down like a big project. So they came up with a sanding block holder. So you just, I believe you just insert the piece of sandpaper in here and then it acts as a sanding, like, like the sanding sponge like Dollar Tree carries. So it just protects your hand from having to hold that sandpaper. And yeah, you can go to town with that. That's really cool. Okay, and in my next um, section or segment of this video, I did want to share a Dollar General haul because um, I haven't been able to share these. Um, I did this like a few weeks ago and I found some really good items and I just wanted to show you what I found. So these are some of the eucalyptus stems that they carry. And look how full they are for being two, $2. So they have it marked at $2. But the day that I went and made these purchases at Dollar General, um, everything, or not everything, but the things that were marked with a green dot that was considered summer was buy one, get one free. So this basically comes down to a dollar a piece if you want to look at it that way. Because I bought one and I got this one for free. I bought it for two bucks. So essentially they're a dollar each. So not too shabby. I went ahead and grabbed four. These were the only four left. So those are super cute, nice and full. They're made so that they're, the leaves are staggered, you know, so it looks more dimensional. I think that was a good deal. All right, this, these flowers that I found here, they're from a different store, I apologize. These are not from Dollar General. Um, they were in the bag with the Dollar General stuff, but I, I went into the, like this discount store um, when I was visiting out of state and I found these and I think they're super pretty. Look how cute they are. They're like little mini, they look like mini hydrangeas, but they're not. And the colors again, they're more the muted tones. Um, they're by Flowers by UMG. Um, so it comes like this and this is like $1.49 for one bunch, which again is not a bad deal. $1.49 for one of these. And I, you don't come across these kind of flowers often. So I thought that was super cute. I had to grab those. 
And then at that same discount store, I found these cute sunflowers. Again, they were $1.49 for a bunch like this. I grabbed a couple just to have for fall decorating and fall DIYs. Then I bought some towels. Um, again, these were part of the buy one, get one free. So I grabbed two of the gray and white buffalo check and two of the black and white buffalo check. Um, buy one, get one free. So they were a dollar each. And these are some good, thicker quality towels. Better than what Dollar Tree carries, for sure. And they're by the True Living brand. 100% cotton. And there's the black and white one. I found this eyelet flyer that this is also from that one discount store i figured for any project that i might want to add like an eyelet this tool would come in handy and then back to um that same discount store i found these cute felt sunflowers and there's eight pieces in this pack and then at the dollar general i did grab these cute farmhouse towels they were three dollars but it was buy one get one free um, cute farm animals and then the second one has all of the animals just individually with the different words so cute so i grabbed two of them so they were only three dollars for both i'm across these cute unfinished wood tags from dollar general i grabbed two packs of them i actually used one already for a different project it's eight, eight piece to a pack and by the crafter's closet. That's a good deal for a dollar. Um, you can use this for anything. So there's the other pack. I grabbed three packs. And then these cute little metal planters. Um, this is the white with distressing. It says floors and plants. They had them in a pink and as well as a, a green. But I went with the white. Typically, I gravitate towards green because that's my favorite color. It's more of like that sage green, but I went with the white. I think white is safe. And again, this is part of that deal. So $3.50 and then free for the other one. So not too shabby. Okay, sorry I'm going back and forth between that discount store and the Dollar General, but they were all mixed in this one bag. So these are some wood slices that I found at that discount store and there's two wood slices are sort of cut in this angle and this was a dollar so i grabbed two packs and they also had some wood beads um 60 pieces 10 to 16 millimeter and i grabbed both of those and next i found some cute stems and this is like in that nice green and white color. This is one stem and this was a dollar. So it was a dollar and this is free. So a dollar for both. Next, I found these cute tumblers or glass from Dollar General. They were a dollar each and they say farm fresh on it. They're raised right here. Um, they would make really cute bases if you were to paint this and distress it. Just sand down the image and it would bring out the, the texture. That would be super adorable. You can use it as a vase in a, um, in a grouping or individually. You could even use it as a candle holder, just uh, LED lights. So again, um, possibilities are endless with this. And I found these wood slices from uh, the discount store. Comes two in a pack, and these were a dollar each pack, and they come with two. So I grabbed that. And I also found these cute doorknobs or drawer knobs. They're, um, they look like crystal knobs, but obviously they're made out of plastic, I'm sure. They were $1.49 for this four pack. Again, it came from this um, discount store that I visited. Next, I found these cute tumblers or glass from Dollar General. They were a dollar each and they say farm fresh on it. They're raised right here. Um, they would make really cute bases if you were to paint this and distress it. Just sand down the image and it would bring out the, the texture. That would be super adorable. You can use it as a vase in a, um, in a grouping 
or individually. You could even use it as a candle holder, just uh, LED lights. So again, um, possibilities are endless with this.